Ooh, little Walmart sunrise. <laughs> mm, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, I woke up at like 3 in the morning. I don't remember why. It wasn't like I had a bad dream or anything in particular. I think I was just like really thirsty. Like I do now recall like hardcore looking for water. Like, I don't know. I think I woke up from a dream. Not particularly a bad one, like I said, but a dream. And then I had water and like, yeah, yeah, I know, whatever. But either way, and then I remember kind of having to pee. And then I was like, nah, just go back to sleep. I'm like, you don't have to go that bad. I'm like, store opens in like three hours. <laughs> um, But I have my waterfall repel in like an hour and 15 minutes. This ear hurts. Like, not like in like a, my ear kind of way. More like I like slept on it and now it's like agitated. So now it's like wants to chill anyways i'm gonna go inside go pee whatever come back out get dressed braid my hair and go Thumb to bump, correct, correct. Then your other hand's gonna go under, and then palm is up. Yeah. That's perfect. I kinda grasped that one after I did it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was not <laughs> right. It makes sense. Your legs are nice and wide. You're sturdy in yourself, rooted in the ground. Okay, perfect. Nice. Then you're gonna start trusting that equipment and lowering yourself back. Oh. Yeah, see, so you're totally in control of the speed. That's what's super cool about this. Do a great girl! Oh my gosh, the moral support. Everything I needed. Nice job. Yeah, it's your
is not great. I mean this wall part too. I am so out of shape. That was exhausting. But now I'm just waiting for her to throw down my um, auto belay or belay, whatever it is. Oh man. Couldn't see before. This is the uh, 30 foot wall. Overlooking that.
that was so fun. I'm so glad I did that. It was such like a different experience and it was cool because like I'm sure to like people who do like actual rock climbing it probably wouldn't have been anything that crazy but like we did like a little rock climbing like we climbed a 30 foot wall twice and it was like not as easy as I thought I actually did mildly scrape my knee oh no um <laughs> I was like I was a little scared because like I was like really putting a lot of like oomph into like my knee that had surgery and I was kind of like <sighs> I was confident there's nothing I can't do if I'm like determined enough but I was a little nervous I will not lie um because I was like full-on like bringing my leg up like this high and then like lifting my full body weight at like that kind of a bend and I haven't even practiced squatting past 90 degrees so oh that spider was huge why are there so many spiders when I was walking like through the hike or whatever it's like we were like the first like group or whatever to go out and I was the tallest person in the front so I kept walking through like cobwebs and then I stopped and like had to like do one of those little kind of moments because a spider was sitting like right here and it was like that thick like it was a big boy uh anyways I'm gonna go drive to a planet fitness though and shower because I don't know how good the videos came out from my GoPro but we had to like land in a pool and then like we were walking through the river so like I'm all like wet and gross so I'm gonna go shower change get dry and then go skydiving in Piedmont and we're doing a high altitude jump which is super exciting um so it's about two hours away and it's like 11 30 ish right now so I should have plenty of time to like go find a planet fitness local to like the skydiving location uh take a shower get ready whatever and then drive over there and probably still have time so that's the goal right now I do need to stop and get water because I am so thirsty and I ran out last night so we're gonna stop and do that that's currently the game plan. Don't want to talk too much because whenever I do a lot of stuff with GoPro videos, they end up being really long, so enough has been said. <laughs> like my helmet mark. <laughs> so I just got to the skydiving place, and honestly, I have never seen so many people in cars, except for when I was in New York, but that's also because it was, like, military training to skydive. But, like, there's, like, a ton of cars here. I mean, I don't care, though, as long as I get to do my little high-altitude skydiving call today. But I'm going to put on some chapstick, um hairspray my hair and then go it is 3 43 maybe and i just had to be there before four so i'll do that really quick and then go head up casually just walking around with an oxygen mask um but i'm gonna rebraid my hair really quick because i have like half an hour before my plane leaves so they said i had like i could run to my car and do that super quick because it's just like kind of all over the place and that's not the vibe but my skydive instructor very good looking man um but what was I gonna say? I don't know. But I'm doing my high altitude jump, that's why I have my oxygen mask, yada yada yada, whatever. But I'm gonna rebraid my hair and then I'm gonna go head up there and I'm gonna have to leave my phone here. So the next videos you'll see will be me skydiving. And then once I get back to my car. There's a lot of people here though, like low key. I'm like, okay. I can't wait to get my license. I'm like so bad. I literally uh want that to be me. Look how cool they are. Oh, they're tandem. I thought that was one person. But like, oh, I lost them all. Nah, they're somewhere. But, so cool. <laughs> My hair is braided. But I just ran all the way up there. It wasn't run, but I walked all the way up there to realize I forgot the stupid oxygen mask. Anyways, I had to come back, but that was the update. Now, I'm gonna go. What are we doing? Going to 17,000 feet, you ready for some fun? There we go. Boom. Watch your head. All right, let's go ahead and hop in the plane. Ba, 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 ba.
talking about how uh, he like lived in New Zealand for a year and a half with the work visa and then lived in Australia for another year and a half with the work visa. Did I say a week and a half, but a year. A year and a half for New Zealand and Australia. And then he traveled like Asia for like eight months and now he's like a skydiving instructor. He's been skydiving for like six years. Every time I go skydiving, they're like, you should get your license. And I'm like, I don't want to. I swear if I can afford it, I would. Uh, I'm sure this video Like, I have this one on my hip, and then I have like a bunch of like little ones. 